foundation. Before the pad foundations are laid the land is excavated and aligned. The concrete is cast on site with column stumps for ground beam connection, for fabricated steel beams. The beams are secured to the columns with steel plate joints. L beams are used on the outer section of the frame while T beams are used in between slabs. For fabricated steel columns. Fabricated steel columns are installed onto the foundation column stumps. The connections are secured with steel plates. Precast hollow core slab. On the foundation and ground beams level, the grids are reinforced with wire mesh and poured with a layer of concrete before the slabs are laid over top. The gaps in between the slabs are inserted with reinforcing steel bar and grouted with cement. Pre-assembled block wall system Once the skeletal structures are secured in place, pre-assembled block walls are lowered by crane into place. After the walls are aligned and leveled, the gaps are then grouted with cement, prefabricated bathroom pot. Before the slab of each floor covers the lower floor, the bathroom pods are craned in and installed. The slab the pod is sitting on is precast to be lower to prevent spillage. Precast concrete staircase. As the building ascends in height the landing for the stairs are installed with brackets and steel plate to screw it in place. Then the steps are installed onto the landings and corresponding precast walls. Remaining levels are constructed in the similar repetitive method. This helps save significant amount of time and materials. Steel root truss. When the roof beams are in place, roof trusses are lowered onto the beams. Once aligned the trusses are welded onto the beams and steel plate secures the metals together. The trusses are then covered with a layer of wire mesh and insulation followed by the metal corrugated roof. Thank you.